Not a pastor, not a deacon, but a servant of God. Sven said we need more men, more women that are more in love with their mission than their position. A loving servant of God. I desire for God to take each of us where he wants us to be. I want us to fulfill his purpose in our life. I want him to be glorified in each of our lives. I want our homes to be homes of blessings and homes of victory. I know God wants that. I know that we do have an enemy. If God is the ultimate source of his hatred, if you live for the glory of God, God is glorified through your life. But if he can defeat you, bring you down, cause you to live a life full of sinfulness in secret, not secret to him, God is not glorified through you. And that's what he desires to do is keep God from being glorified in our lives. So for what it's worth. Verse 25, Philippians 2. But I want to remind you, this is the inspired word of God. God, the Holy Spirit, is the author of this blessed book. This is the God-breathed word of God. And he's telling us about a servant of God that is known only a couple of places in the entire Bible. And he says this, because for the work of Christ, here's a servant of God, he came close to death. Some may say, that's not right. You, God would never expect that of you. Uh, you. You do too much for the Lord. I'll tell you this. There may be some in this world that do too much, but for every person that does too much, I can show you a thousand that don't do enough. Not regarding his own life. That's an interesting term we'll deal with. To supply what was lacking in your service toward me.